Welcome to Make Easy. This is the second video of pattern printing. In the previous video, I have explained about this in brief. I explained you about left dollar, right dollar, and mid dollar, how it works. So in this video, I will be explaining you how to print the pattern using for loop. If you haven't watched my previous video of for loop, how it works, you can watch that. Okay, so we are going to print this pattern, two pattern, this one and this one. And this word is pattern printing. We are using this a string that is an E P A L. So in the first one we are printing N first and E then N E P N E P N E P A L. So as you can see this is the left extreme character, left hand side character, first one N. And it is repeated in every pattern N N E N E P N E P N E P L. So we are printing pattern from left hand side. If you can see this type of thing, so you can use left dollar because n is available at left hand side and in every pattern n is printed so without using the for loop what we can do is we are storing a dollar in the a dollar n e p a so first time what we want we want is only one character from the left hand side n only so what we have written here is left dollar a dollar comma one from this a dollar string that is n e p a l i want to print only one character that is n first one and then second time what we are writing here is left dollar a dollar comma two so from left hand side two characters this is left hand side from this left hand side two character means first one and second one and e it will be printed third time what we are writing left dollar a dollar comma three so from left hand side only three character so from left hand side means this side one two three so in the same way four and five so without using the for loop we have printed this pattern you can write the same code and you can check it Next one, first of all, we are printing an EPAL. Five characters from what? Left hand side. Why left hand side? Because this N, which is available at left hand side, is printed in every pattern. One first one N is available here also, N is available here also, and N and N. So for this type of pattern, we can use left dollar function because N is available at left hand side. So from left hand side, how many characters? So from left hand side, one, two, three, four, five. So what we will write here is print left dollar a dollar comma five. In the a dollar, we have an EPL. From left hand side, we are printing five characters. So an EPL will be printed. Second time, how many characters we want from left hand side? This is the left hand side. One, two, three, four. Four characters. So we are writing four. Then three, two, and one in this way. So what we have done is we have changed the value. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and here 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So in the place of this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 using the for loop how you can write the code. So let me show you. So I'll go to this key basic screen. Yeah, this is the first program without loop. I will just run it and show you what will be the output. First time 5 means any PAL, then any P, any P, and E and N. This is, this is the value 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is the sequence. Every time when you make pattern printing program, you have to write in this form. Look, this is the correct output we are getting. First time 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So now using the for loop, we can execute same line of code many times. So I will write here for i equals to, i equals to starting value we have. First one is 5. So I will start from 5 and up to which you can see here 1. I'll go up to 1 and this is descending order from greatest number to smallest number greater number to smaller number so I have to write here step how much minus 1 because first time i value will be 5 and second time we have to decrease the value of i by 1 that is 4 so I am writing a step minus 1 first time 5 4 3 and then up to 1 this is done so in the place of this now Five, I will write here i because first time i value will be 5 second time 4 3 2 1 so I don't have to write it five times I'll write it only one time print statement and I will erase this and then I will write after print I will next time write here next time yeah this is the code for that first time i value will be 5 so print left dollar a dollar comma i so first time any PL will be printed next time means decrement the value of i by 1 so first time i value is 5 and a step minus 1 means i minus 1 that will be 4 
when I go to this next i, it will go again to the for loop here. And yeah, 5 to 1, and we have value i 4, then it will be printed a dollar comma 4. So that means any p. So we have changed the value. That is 5 to 1 step minus 1 every time. Look, same output by writing a three line of code only. And the next pattern what we have here is First of all, N, N, E, N, E, P, N, E, P, L. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now we have values from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in the for loop, I will change the value, nothing else. The starting value is 1 and then up to 5. We are decrement, incrementing the value by 1. So starting from 1 up to 5. 1 first time, next time means I value will be 2 because 1 to 5, it is incrementing. So no need to write step plus 1, step 1 like that. You can write a step one that is not mandatory but by default it will be step one so we don't have to write it so first time i value will be one so left dollar a dollar comma one means value of i will be one so i means n next time means i value will be two so next time a dollar comma two means n e from this n and e in the same way three four five and epl will be printed and then when the value of i will be six this for loop will be false that is it is running five times only one to five so loop will be terminated now let's see the pattern will be printed or not yes first time one second time two three four five so in this way it works in the next video i'll explain you using the right dollar function how we can do that and then in the next video i'll explain you about mid dollar so everything we can do using left dollar and right dollar. We can do that same using mid dollar also. Have a great day. If you have any confusion, you can comment below. If you have any pattern, you can comment below. I will make video for that also. Have a great day and see you in the next video.